You mentioned so names in this YouTube boxing scene. Yes. Give me your top five. Give me your Ooh. top five YouTube boxers. I've actually done this, so if I have a different top five now, don't yeah, hate I me. I watched you do this on your YouTube channel. I know. I forgot about Has it, it already. already? It, it okay. might have already changed. So I'm going to go number five. I think I'm going to put Salt Poppy there. He's got to go. I, I yeah. think because I, I, I've also said, you know what, I'll tie it. How about that? I know you put me under pressure. Yeah. Salt Poppy and Gibb mm -hmm. at number five. Wait, wait, wait. One second. One I know. Second. We're tied. We're tied. We're, we're tied. We're, we're, we're doing joint fifth. I know. I know. Okay, but I'll give you. I'll hear give me you. out. Okay. Salt Poppy is dangerous, yeah. but Gibb has more experience, and he's done this for longer, and he's shown an ability to not only get off the canvas, but continue to win fights. Yeah. Number four, Slim. The Slim Gimme. Reaper. I'm Gimme. talking. I'm Gimme. telling. It's yeah. every time he goes in, someone goes to sleep, right. and it's he's, not him. He's now become the boogeyman. I, he is the boogeyman of YouTube boxing. Someone goes to sleep. He gets them a pillow and a blanket, <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so he's number four. Number three, give me Logan Paul. And you're going to have to hear me out on this. Oh. He doesn't have a win. Yeah, he's but not, any doesn't, man doesn't really fight anymore. Any man that steps in front of Floyd Mayweather yeah. and by the eighth round is pointing into the sky saying, there goes your legacy and laughing at him. Yeah. I Granted, I understand. 50 pounds bigger. I no, understand. Regardless, he went in there with a goat. And he held up. Yes. It wasn't. He didn't win the fight. I understand that. But he held up. He landed some good shots. He showed an ability that wasn't YouTube boxing. This was a guy that trained for eight months to fight one of the best boxers that's ever lived. Mm. And held in there for eight rounds. You got to give me Logan. Two close fights with KSI, which we is going to be my next pick. Number two, I got KSI because, listen, the man's undefeated. Yeah. He beat Logan Paul, a guy that outweighed him. Reach, everything. Experience was, 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 was the same, but KSI was a dog in there. Yeah. And I'm talking D-A-W-G dog. <laughs> he just is. That's, that's who he is. Not a poodle. I'm no. talking a big dog. No, yeah. I'm, this is a German shepherd, <laughs> yeah. and you're holding a little stake in front of him. You know, yeah. like he just goes and gets it. And uh, those two fights, one, you know, the tie, I think, arguably could have went to KSI. The second one mm. comes into Logan's hometown and beats him. Yeah. And then does the two-in-one night. He's continuing to evolve his game. We're going to see him again, hopefully soon. So there I are think, rumors about who he might be fighting in January as yeah. well. We're going to ask him those questions yes. when we speak to him. Uh, and so he's number two. And then, of course, at number one, it has Jake to be. Paul. Well, it's yeah. Jake Paul. It with has with to a be. bit of a gap as well. And I think that's, that's the big point, that, that number one and two, you think they're that close. They could be, but Jake has, has elevated himself by not only stepping outside of the YouTube boxing scene, but winning. Yeah. You're talking wins versus, yes, the Nate Robinson, we get it. Yes, Ben Askren, but to go and do it to Tyron Woodley. A guy that's a five-time defending UFC champion. in great shape. Still mm. fantastic shape. A guy that's dangerous to anyone that steps in there with one or two, three fights. To sleep him the way in which he slept him. Not only that, he beats him by a decision, says, oh, I'll outbox you the first time, yeah. and then I'll come back on two weeks' notice, 11 days' notice, supposed to be fighting someone else, 11 days' notice, knocks him out cold. Mm. No one does that that isn't elevating their game to a degree. And by the way... He's fighting one of the greatest strikers to ever live. Which is, which is crazy. He's fighting Anderson Silva, who I'm telling you now, still got good hands. And still got just, good hands. Just beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Yeah. We're not, we're not talking about a guy that's, you know, your local mailman. Yeah. This is a guy with 54 wins, mm. world championships. And Anderson's like, cool, second, second boxing fight ever. I'm just going to come in and, and school you. Yeah. So Jake is taking challenges that, quite frankly, no one else has stepped up to yet. That's why he's number one. That's a good five, kind of six, but we'll let him off. Well, we're, yeah, we're, I had to include Salt Poppy, man. He's here. I didn't yeah, want to catch Salt those Poppy hands. Is, it is literally. I didn't, I didn't want to catch.